if you don't want people to think you're Islamophobic, <clears throat> don't say Islamic phobic things. This world's going to hell in a handbasket and you're trying to take somebody off their job for something stupid that happened on Facebook. A Facebook post That'll shared by right. St. Lawrence County Tuesday, Legislator Rita Tuesday. Curran is what filled the seats at Monday's county legislative meeting. The post shows a picture of the September 11th, 2001 terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center and reads, quote, every time a Muslim stand up in Congress and tells us they are going to change the Constitution, impeach our president or vote for socialism. Remember, you swore you would never forget. They swore they would destroy us from within. Many at Monday's meeting took the wording of the post as hate speech toward Muslims. And these anti-Muslim statements made by our county legislator cannot be tolerated. Others said they didn't think the post was directed at all Muslims, but at specific Muslim members of Congress. The way I read this, it was directed towards two political officials. Nowhere in there did I see it across the board. Muslims on everything. Before the meeting, a group made up of dozens of St. Lawrence University students walked into the legislative building calling for Curran to resign. Your lack of remorse for your actions and your inability to take responsibility is why you should resign your position. You young people stood outside and put on a demonstration. That's a God-given right under our Constitution for you people. Okay? Rita Curran, whether you like it or not, should be allowed the same opportunity to have an opinion, to speak her will. Some defenders of Curran feel the backlash from the Post is an attack on free speech. This attempt to take Rita's rights away really concerns me, and it should concern everyone. Is it protected speech? Absolutely. Is it hate speech? Absolutely. Bring us together. We are so tired of this divisiveness. Either we condone racial speech and hate speech, or we condemn it. Fellow county legislator David Haggard brought forth a vote to ask Curran to resign. And while five board members did vote for it. On an individual basis, you know, I like you. I, I condemn what you said. Another exactly. 10 board members, including Curran, voted no. I believe that this is the worst kind of character assassination. This is nothing more than a political attack. I would vote for censorship but I'm not going to vote for resignation, which our board, I believe, legally has no power to do. According to some legislators, Rita Curran has received threats since the post surfaced. Curran didn't say anything at the meeting. In Canton, Patrick Malowski, 7 News.